I've put a mark on the centre, a mark on the crank with an edge pen so I, I won't lose the, the valve tape because it's running quite nicely there. Tape and pin out. There's a lot of, there's no lift on it but there's quite a lot of side to side on it. I wasn't happy with this when I originally made it and uh, I haven't done anything about it. I think now's the time to have a look inside it and see if we can take some of that, some of that play off it. Yeah, that's nuts. I can't understand why I left that like that. Frustrating watching me using this bastard adjustable spanner. Not a bastard, it's a big one. At least it's a good quality adjustable spanner. So basically that just wants to be thicker by whatever that gap is there. I think after having such success, bronze welding the crosshead up, I may just put a little bit of bronze weld around there and remachine it. The diamond has good. It's just slopping around in there like that. This is one of the better machine parts on the whole engine. Really nice it is. This is unique as well, and this is only good together one way. Like that. It has got two two zeros on there. But that really is a nice bit of bit of machine in that. But that's not. I remember when I made this at the time I wasn't I wasn't happy with it. I could always make another one but I think just merely building that up is gonna do the job for us. I remember when I made the screw I did put a little Bronze tip in the end so it doesn't mark the crank when you tighten it on. Right, I put a bead of silicon bronze around the outside of it. It uh, went on quite nicely. This would be an ideal job for the, the rotating table I built for the welder, but I forgot I had it. Anyway, it's welded up now, we'll let it cool off and then go out machining it. I mounted the eccentric in a forge or truck with some aluminium protectors just so I don't damage the, the machine face. It's important I get this running true, completely true. We'll do this, this face first, so we'll find the high point which is there. Tighten that one. High point again which is that one. You always tighten. High one again, which is that one. Yeah, it's floating round about the throw there. Right, we'll check this front face. Now 
and we find the high point which is there First, and then we'll do some measuring. Machine's very nice to this. These curly chips, you can see it's, it's bronze. Today I wrote a measure between that and that, quite simply. I touch the tool off on there. Set zero. thousands and I want seven. Taking that ten off. Check it again. Same zero. And I've got nineteen. Taking that ten. Right, in theory, that should be it. I'm just going to break that edge with a 45 degree tool I think I just tied you up that In our face. Wait a moment, the truth. a lot better it's still got a little bit of clearance on it but it's nowhere near as rapid as it was I think we'll put it together and try that
by features. And then you walk up on the crankshaft and walk on your centric. Right, that's now running. The way it's supposed to do. No knocks or rattles. Just making a nice steam engine noises. I think the next job, the base needs sorting out and we'll take the cylinder head off and put that in the fire tonight to try and take the, some of the brightness of it and then I'm going to make a governor for it have it run the dynamo uh, speed control by a governor we just got to die down actually as the compressor runs out These are what Bang could have sent us to do a review on. There's some twist drills there, amazingly cheap they are. And as a set of high speed steel twist drills, the little ones are in a separate packet because they always fall up and get jammed. Anyway, I'll give these a bit of a try and see what sort of results I get with them. If anybody can think of a specific test to like us to do with them, just leave a, a comment. This is another item I actually asked for for this because I don't need a one. I'll have a pre that and say exactly what it will and won't do. It'll be probably the next fortnight or so I get a video done on these. Once again, if you can think of a, a test you'd like us to do, just put a comment and I'll try and do it for you. Once again, it's just time to see you. Thanks for watching, thanks for clicking the like button, and as always, a massive thanks for all the well wishes that are coming in. And don't forget, if you like what you see, click the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.